What's going on guys? So Alexandria Fragrances has a brand new release that I was very, very, very excited to get my hands on. This is the new Hefe Cigar, a new original sweet tobacco scent from Alexandria. And the reason I was so excited is, is because the Hefe's line as a whole is some of the best tobacco fragrances out on the market. I love Hefe's 1984, their original. Hefe's Gold is actually my personal favorite. They have Hefe's Intense and so on. And now Hefe's Cigar. Very simplistic note breakdown. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very moist, sweet tobacco. I'm very excited about this one. I haven't sprayed it yet. I couldn't wait to start filming this video so I could spray it and smell it with you guys. But uh, stay tuned. So, also, before we jump into this, stay tuned to the end. I have a travel set that we will be giving away in this video. But here we go. Their standard presentation for the 100ml. Their newer style presentations anyways. They did send out this 100ml for review. So thank you to Hanny for sending this my way because I'm super excited for this one. So... They've done pretty well with a lot of their originals. A lot of their clones have been doing pretty well lately also. So, uh, hey, it's already lined up. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just, wow, sprayed right away too. It's weird. I was going to fit, the thought I was trying to finish before I sprayed it was, I've been very excited for this one since I saw the first post about it. And out in the air, strong... The, there's a pretty robust, earthy tone to this tobacco. It's very ambery, too. And, of course, it's immensely sweet. It's a sweet tobacco fragrance. There's no two ways about this, but... I don't know if there's a smoky note in here or if it's the tobacco oil that they use, but it's, it's smoky and sweet tobacco with a nice... Nice warm amber base that really jumps out at you. Like I'm getting a lot in this opening. Very smooth, very strong as well. It's an extra to parfum. Any of you that know about Alexandria fragrances, they're usually pretty damn strong. And darker fragrances like this are going to be quite strong. Let me pull up the notes. I don't remember the notes exactly. I don't want to get it wrong for you guys. So here we go. We'll get it pulled up. It's available in a few sizes. Brand new release. Um, wow. It came out today, I think, or in the last couple of days. It's already sold out, guys. Because <laughs> I know a few people got this bottle in today. I saw EJ, EJ Wells from Happy Land Studio. He posted in the Alexandria group that he got his. And a few others that ordered, I saw they, they were making posts in the group as well. So it's actually out of stock. It won't even let me pick any sizes or anything so apparently i'm not the only one that was excited about this but i digress let's read the description shall we hefe cigar our latest original release is going to leave jaws dropping it's the epitome of tobacco fragrances that delivers sweet spicy and smoky all in one package hefe cigar is likely the best tobacco slash vanilla fragrance we have ever experienced a man's best secret weapon when looking for compliments this fragrance will attract people like honey does to a bee Hefe's cigar has a massive longevity and projection that will stay with you all day. Notes of tobacco, amber, vanilla, and honey. The feeling is accomplished. Okay, so it's a very simplistic note breakdown. I do get all of the tobacco, amber. Definitely, I believe the honey because it's thick and sweet. Vanilla makes sense usually in most tobacco fragrances, but it's said in the descriptor that it's smoky, and it definitely smells smoky. This doesn't come across as, it comes across kind of as simple as the notes read out, to be honest with you. It's earthy, it's smooth, it's sweet, it's smoky, it's warm and ambery. I don't find it all that spicy. There's a little, it's more warm than it is spicy overall. I mean, a little bit of spice in there, but I wouldn't call it a very spicy fragrance. It's more of a sweet, earthy, smoky smell. 
it's fantastic. It's what I expected it to be. I'm not s surprised by anything that I'm smelling. It's I expected it to be really damn good. Kind of expected it to smell. In the realm of the Accords I'm getting, I just wasn't 100% confident on exactly what it would smell like because I hadn't smelled it until this point. But I know I'm being very chatty. I'm just, I'm really, really excited about this one. Very smooth. It's getting a little bit creamy. Probably the vanilla. The sweet tone hasn't really changed. But it's not quite as, what's the word I'm looking for? as abrasive and aggressive like it was in the initial blast. But that's most fragrances. Their most aggressive point is that first minute when you spray it, perfumers, alcohol, and so on. Could be very volatile top notes, the you know, light citrus or something that just hits you rather quickly and dissipates quickly. Could be the case, but like I said, simple note breakdown of four notes. Smells like there's a little bit more going on here than that, but not much more. I don't get any woody facets. It's not musky. Clearly no floral tones whatsoever. A little bit of an aromatic appeal. It's not very bright, but there's a little bit of aromatic tone to this opening. Damn, this is good. And it's coming, it's pumping off of my hand too. This stuff's strong. So it's not really cold enough for me to wear this. This is a heavy fragrance. It's not really cold enough for me to throw this in the rotation yet. Not until like Sunday. At the recording of this video, it's Monday. On Sunday, we have a high of 62, lows at like 43. So that's going to be like the coolest day I've had in a while. That's probably my best bet of a, you know, climate appropriate type of setting for this fragrance because it's pretty heavy. It's dark, it's deep, it's rich, it's extremely robust. It's a very thick aroma. So probably won't be until the very end of the week that I'm going to pull this one out, but I'm going to be sniffing on my hand the entire night. This stuff is legit. I guess you got to wait until it comes back into stock. I don't know how easy it would be to get any samples, but I mean, it smells, it smells incredible. Great job, Hanny. Great job, Hanny and Hanny's team. Whoever perfumes these fragrances for Hanny, it's awesome. It, I don't know what else to say. It's Hefe Cigar. It's as good as I anticipated it to be. So let's get into this giveaway, shall we? I was not anticipating this travel set. I've never seen one of their travel sets. I've always just gotten bottles from Alexandria. And uh, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, it's the lipstick style atomizers. There's four of them. So we'll leave a little bit of mystery to this. And I won't pull these four out. We'll just grab one just real quick to show it. But I won't... Yeah, because it doesn't say it on it. It's probably... Yeah, it's around the collar, so I'm not even going to look, but lipstick style, travel atomizers. I want to leave it a bit of a mystery for which four scents it actually is in the discovery set. I won't even know, so whoever wins will have a complete surprise and mystery and go into these blind. Maybe you can have some fun with that. So, as per usual with my giveaways, you have to like this video. Make sure you subscribe to TLTG Reviews. Comment down below, TLTG Travel Set. Easy enough, right? Continental United States only. I'll leave this open for about a week, roughly seven, eight days. I will pin the winning comment, heart the winning comment, reply to the winning comment to alert the winner to go ahead and email me so we can verify identity and set up shipping. Once again, like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews. Comment down below, TLTG Travel Set. Continental US only. I'll leave it open for about a week. And somebody's going to win this. I have no idea. Might be two good ones and two okay ones. Might be four incredible ones. Might be four complete misses. I don't know. We're going to leave what four fragrances are in here as a mystery. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Hefe Cigar and you give it a spray now, I'm confident you'll thank me later because this smells great. If you like tobacco fragrances, this is one you should definitely try. I'm not going to sit here and say you should go out and blind buy a bottle as soon as they restock. But you should definitely secure some sort of decant, travel size, sample, something. Get your nose on it. See if it's full bottle worthy for you. And good luck to everybody that enters the giveaway. Y'all have a good one, guys. Yeah.